In this tutorial, we will learn about the basics of using a multi-line phone system. We will look at a typical reception desk telephone and explore its settings, such as volume control and ringer sounds, and some of the features which make multi-line phone systems so important in today's office environment. We will learn about making calls and answering calls, and learn how to use the call controls. This includes putting a client or customer on hold, transferring calls, creating a conference call, and paging. Finally, we will look at using voicemail and recording greetings. Throughout this tutorial, we will reflect on using proper phone etiquette at all times when interacting with vendors, clients, colleagues, and customers over the phone. Now let's have a look at a typical reception phone. It has the same number pad that all telephones have, but it also has a number of other buttons that have other functions. You will notice to the right-hand side of the phone that there are multiple phone lines. Some of these lines are external and some of the lines are internal. The buttons listed as line 1, line 2, and so on are the external lines. The buttons listed with employee names are the internal lines or extensions within the company. These may also be labeled with the actual extension numbers. You'll see that some of the buttons do not have labels. These buttons can be programmed for more extensions or for speed dialing an external number. To the bottom right, you will see the intercom buttons for paging and the hands-free mute button which can be used to mute your voice temporarily or switch to call over to speaker. The clear panel between these buttons will show an arrow icon which will indicate which lines are being used. Looking on the left-hand side of the phone, you will see the volume controls which you can use to increase or decrease the volume of the ringer and also the handset or headset volume. The hold button is used to place a caller on hold. Be careful! The hold button is orange, like the release button, and can sometimes be located in close proximity to one another. Pay attention, or you could release the call instead of putting it on hold, and the result could be an angry caller. The soft keys are located just above the number pad and are only activated when you are on a call and also by using the feature key. The various commands will appear in the screen just above. Just to the right of the volume control, you will see the feature button. We won't go into all of the available features in this tutorial. You will have access to the phone system manual, which will give you instructions on how to use your phone system to its full potential. However, there is a quick features guide just under the handset which will help you to remember the combinations of buttons you need to use to access certain functions. The handset is to the left. When a call comes in, simply pick up the handset to answer. If you are using a headset, press the button with the flashing arrow next to it to answer the call. To end the call, either place the handset down in the cradle or press the orange release button. Seems easy enough, right? In a busy office, you will oftentimes have to manage more than one call at a time. It's important to know which lines are engaged, which lines are on hold, and which lines have a call coming in. A slowly flashing icon beside a line indicates a call waiting to be answered. A steady icon indicates a currently connected call, and a fast flashing icon indicates a held call. The more common controls of a multi-line phone system that you will use are putting calls on hold, transferring calls, conferencing calls, and paging. We will now have a look at some demonstrations. What we will see first is a demonstration of using the correct telephone techniques while following proper etiquette guidelines. Then we will have a closer look at how to use the controls on the phone. Pay attention to the buttons being used. Pathways Inc. speaking, how may I help you? Uh, yes, absolutely. Let me check that for you. I'm going to put you on hold for one minute. Thank you.
Morning Pathways, this is Amy speaking. How may I help you? Yes, Sergio is in the office today. Let me transfer you to him. One moment. Pathways, this is Amy speaking. How can I help you? Yes, Sergio is available. Give me one moment. Hi, Serge. I've got a client on the line. I just wanted to give you a bit of a heads up uh, that this client has had many absences before, so I'm very unsure as to whether or not we should book another appointment with them. So I just wanted to transfer or give you a heads up on that before I transfer her in, okay? Thanks. Hi. Okay, great. I've got Sergio on the line for you, so I hope you have a great day. Okay, bye-bye. Pathways, this is Amy speaking. How may I help you? Yes, Paula's in the building. I'll have to page in for you. Hang on for one minute. Thank you. Paula, there's a call for you on line one. Call for you on line one. Thank you. Thank you for calling Pathways, where we are building new futures. Pathways office hours are 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. If you are trying to reach our employment campus, please hang up and call 519-667-7795. If you'd like to leave a message, please dial zero. Otherwise, please wait on the line and our receptionist will be with you shortly. Have a great day.